Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to talk about the Super Micro SYS 5019D FN8 TP. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today. Just a little bit more about the Super Micro SYS 5019D. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. Now, this video is gonna be just a general overview. Uh, we're gonna cover all the aspects of the hardware. We're gonna go over the CPUs, the RAM, the drives, and just the hardware as a whole. So let's hop into the good stuff. There's one CPU inside. It is integrated with the motherboard. It is your Intel Xeon D2146 NT. This is not interchangeable. This is the only proc that's gonna be in there. It is eight cores. It's gonna be 2.3 base frequency. And uh, overall, it's a great proc. And again, a nice budget-friendly server. So what about the RAM? Well, there's four DIMM slots inside. It accepts DDR4 memory. It uses a number of different speeds, 2133, 2400, or all the way up to 2666. There's a number of different sizes as well. You can go as low as a 16 gig module, 32, 64, or all the way up to 128 gigabytes, which means it takes up to 512 gigabytes at 2666. That will be the overall max, and it takes two types of RAM, ECC registered or load reduced. So those are your options. All right, let's talk about the storage. There are two different options for this chassis. You can have one 3.5 inch large form factor drive, or you can have four 2.5 inch small form factor drives. There's also a M.2, which is great for a boot drive. So if you wanna throw in a M.2 SATA drive, this is also an option for this box. The nice thing about the large form factor drive is you get a much higher storage overall. With the large form factor SATA hard drive, you can get up to 22 terabytes, whereas with the small form factor hard drive, you can only get two terabytes. And I did want to note that you can only use SATA hard drives and SAS is not an option since we do not have a RAID controller for the server. Uh, SATA is what you will be using. Now on the solid state drive side, you can get up to 7.68 terabytes so you can get 7.68 terabytes on a SATA solid state drive. Now let's talk about the speeds for the solid state drive you can get up to 6 gigabit per second and for the SATA hard drive you can get 7.2k RPMs. And this server also has one 200 watt gold cabled in power supply in the back so let's go ahead and pop it open and show you a little bit more about the inside but before we do i'm going to grab my esd gear and be right back all right i have my esd gear on we're safe to work on our machine all we're going to need is a phillips head screwdriver there's five screws that we're going to need to remove two on each side and one in the back that can be easy to miss so we're just going to go ahead and knock these out real quick All right, now that we have our screws removed, we're just gonna lift this up. And we are in. So you'll see this is a nice compact system as we mentioned. You have your one CPU that's under our uh, air shroud here. We have our four DIMM slots, which can go all the way up to 512 gigabytes as we mentioned. You have uh, right now two different uh, sets of two 2.5 inch drives that can be for this chassis. And again, you can also get the chassis that will accept a one 3.5 inch drive. Right now this is configured with just one SSD, which is a great option. Uh, but again, you can have two different types of chassis options. Here's your uh, cabled and power supply. Here's all your fans to keep everything cool. A very simple design overall, but still a very, very powerful budget friendly compact server. So this is a rack mount, so it will come with the ears, of course. Uh, very easy just to toss into a rack as a whole. If you wanted to install your M.2, you would put it right here. So this is great for a boot drive. All right, you're gonna have one uh, PCIe 3.0 by eight. You're gonna have one PCIe 3.0 by 16. You're gonna have one mini PCIe, two PCIe 3.0, NVMe by four internal ports. You're gonna have one M.2, that's gonna be a SATA PCIe 3.0 by four, 2280. So if you're looking for a budget-friendly, compact, one-use server, then this is a great option for you. This is based on a Super Micro X11 motherboard, which means it is now two gens old, which means you can get a great deal on it, and it's gonna be very budget-friendly for that reason. Well, hey, if you made it this far, click that like and smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom-built, new or used Super micro or dell hpe cisco ibm lenovo please email us at sales at cloud that's sales at cloud thanks for stopping by guys take care